Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding. Topic number 25, Job Practice. Fillet weld, T-joint, horizontal position, with filler metal, aluminum. The objective of this job practice is to develop skill to produce quality T-joint fillet welds on 125 thousandths inch aluminum in the horizontal position. The weld symbol for the T-joint is the same as for the corner joint welded in the previous topic. Even though the joint has changed, the type of weld is the same. Material, 125 thousandths inch aluminum. Electrode, pure tungsten, 1 8 inch diameter. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Filler metal, ER4043, 1 8 inch diameter. Equipment, power source, AC-DC combination. Collet and collet body, 1 8 inch. Nozzle, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves, and helmet. Stainless steel wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Machine settings. Current, AC. Amperage setting, 140 to 150. Weld current remote control, on. Hot start, 4. Post purge, 10 to 15 seconds. High frequency, continuous. High frequency control setting, 70. Gas flow rate, 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, 2 to 3 electrode diameters. Prior to preparing the workpiece for this exercise, thoroughly clean two pieces of aluminum to remove oxides. Position the two pieces to form a T-joint. Make small tack welds at each end without filler metal, and then thoroughly wire brush the joint to remove contaminants. Place the workpiece in the horizontal position and assume a comfortable position. Use a 45 degree work angle with the tungsten electrode centered in the root. A longer stick out is used to maintain a one electrode diameter arc length despite the limited room at the root of the joint. This will not affect gas shielding because the plates of the T-joint form a trough which prevents the gas from escaping too soon. Point the torch in the direction of travel with a 20 degree push travel angle. Hold a one electro diameter arc length at the right end of the joint. Position the filler rod 20 degrees from the flat plate and 20 degrees from the vertical plate. The rod should be the same distance from either plate. Start the arc. As soon as it stabilizes, move the torch evenly along, adding filler metal to the leading edge of the puddle. Add more filler metal to the puddle than you did when welding the lap joint. Hold a short arc length to produce a bead with deep penetration and no undercut. At the end of the weld, fill the crater and hold the torch in position for post purge. If the puddle is not properly formed before adding filler metal due to holding too long an arc length, or not using enough current, poor fusion may occur at the root. A properly welded joint will have a bead face three electro diameters wide. Inspect the weld, then continue practice.